Hello and welcome to workingthecloud.biz with me Kate Russell, uh, there I am, um, and I'm going to do another video tutorial, um, this time on using a nice piece of software I found called Videoscribe from Sparkle. Um, now what this does is it allows you to really easily make animations um, in the style of the sort of whiteboard drawing out. If you've ever seen RSA animates um, then you'll know what I'm talking about. To give you an idea, here's their Facebook page um, and they actually made this video to uh, celebrate getting 3,000 likes. So have a look at this. So you can see, very simple, uh, very easy to do as well. And um, to prove it, I'm going to make one now for you. Um, so let's just quickly have a look. Um, the pricing, so it is a download, it's a desktop download, and um, you can um, uh, try it out for 30 days free uh, with a sort of a cut down library of images and stuff. Um, but here you'll see uh, that it's actually reasonably priced, 16 pounds a month uh, or 120 pounds a year plus VAT. Now, to put that in perspective, I was speaking to a company the other day who had had a, a flash animation made for a particular client's uh, personalized a, a project for a client and um, they paid £1,500 and they actually weren't even that happy with what was returned so this software they said well we could we could just make our own and we can personalize uh, pictures to clients and embed the video because you then upload it onto YouTube or, or download it as a video to sort of play off your hard drive so it's a really nice piece of software really well priced um, considering the power of what you can do with it so we'll have a look video scribe I've already downloaded it it's on my desktop and um, once you load it up, first thing you need to do is log in because this allows you to have access to the library and also you can store uh, things online for access wherever you happen to log in. But we're going to create a new project and as soon as you boot up the project page it gives you a quick reminder of what the elements are. So you can add different things to your uh, video scribe there, change things like the paper and the hand and put a vignette on it. This is your workspace down here and uh, zoom in and out of the canvas and change the camera positions down in the bottom right hand corner and then anyone who's worked with videos will recognize this at the bottom here um, it's your timeline so you can chop and change elements in the timeline around in there just to uh, to get started you just click on the desktop anywhere and it will instantly remind you uh, you've got a blank can canvas would you like to add some image um, or text to the large work area so we're going to add an image and I can add images from a number of different places. I mentioned already the um, the library, and there are lots of images in here uh, that are sort of categorised health, um, money, and uh, some pro images as well, which once you've upgraded to the pro, you'll get access to those, some nice characters. Now, the thing about these images is they have all been uh, made to be optimized to work with the with the drawing animation style of this uh, particular package so worth looking at those if you don't have your own images yet or you can make your own images and then uh, you can get them from the web just pop in the URL you can upload them to Dropbox and it's integrated with Dropbox so you link your Dropbox account um, I'm just going to get grab them off my computer actually so click on my computer click on the desktop I've already put a folder there video scribe elements and um, I'm going to use my logo so use that image and it loads it up here into the system now you can see here on the right hand side I've got some sliders this allows me to set the sort of intensity with which I want uh, the shading and the lines to be drawn so I don't want them terribly um, terribly intense so that it draws nice and quickly and I think that's going to be just about right so click on OK and it puts it into my workspace now uh, down here you can see in the bottom left hand corner um, is the first element in my timeline and it's going to take 30 seconds to draw that so I'm going to actually reduce that to let's say 12 seconds um, and see how that goes 
So um, there are certain other things that you can change here as well. If you click on the thumbnail there, um, you access the uh, editing uh, options in terms of changing the different types of line. You can have a different hand um, or a different type of pencil. So um, I'm just going to close that down now and use the standard. Now, the other thing that we can do, um, well, let's play this now so you can get an idea of what, um, what that's going to do. So this is 12 seconds, my logo being drawn out and at the end of 12, no, 12 seconds is kind of too long I think um, so what is going to happen now and it just zooms in a little bit so there's two things I want to change now first of all I want to change the time so I go back to the timeline click on that thumbnail it opens up the control I'm going to make that run for eight seconds I think eight seconds is enough um, I can also add a pause at the end. So you see here this pause button. This adds pause events in half second blocks to the end of the element. Now once I've got a few things running along this timeline, I don't want it to rush from one thing to the next. I want it to pause so you can enjoy uh, the picture that you've just uh, been delivered. So I can add pauses and you see them building up here and I can easily take them away again as well. Those are half second blocks. Um, so that's worth noting too. Then down here, I would like to actually have a slightly uh, wider camera angle on that so there's a bit more white space around it when it's being drawn. So that's the camera angle I'd like to start on. So I'm going to click on that and set the camera angle. Um, so now you can see it draws it at that angle. The hand's working a lot quicker. It's going to draw it in eight seconds. And at the end of eight seconds, it'll finish drawing it and then zoom in. So that's kind of nice. I like that. So we now get on to the next part of the picture and what I'm going to do is um, let's say zoom out here and we want now to say what it is we like um, about the uh, about the, the software. Now the thing to bear in mind, anything you put in is going to appear right slap bang in the middle of your screen. So depending on what angle you're in, if you're kind of like, you know, zoomed in or zoomed out. Um, you can uh, it's a zoom out, zoom in. So these are all the different things that you can do, and and where you're at when you put it in is 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 kind of um, you know where it will place it. <laughs> Does that make sense? I hope so. If I move it over here a little bit, then it'll place place it there in relation to that. So I just want to put it kind of about here. So we'll click on now to add the text. And the things that I like doing here is what do I like doing? I like making promo. Videos. I like to make instructional videos. Instructional is that even a word? I'm not sure. Um, instructional videos. Uh, invitations. How about that? That's a good idea, isn't it? If you've got a wedding invitation or a party invitation, you could actually send them one of these videos instead. Or you could even do a fun letter. Uh, you know, maybe put some photographs in um, and have the photographs drawn out and, and make a really nice slideshow of your photographs. So we click on OK. And that's now put those texts in there. So I want to make them bigger. So I just grab that on the corner, perhaps make them bigger. I want to move it over a little bit. So I just pick it up anywhere, sort of, you know, anywhere in the box. Not on this. If you if you click that one, then it will spin. And um, if you click these ones, then it will go in and out. But if you click anywhere else, then you should be able to move it around. So that's now that. And you can see here, it's given me as well the control. If my voice sounded a bit weird then it's because I just had to pause the video and, and go and capture another wasp and get it out. It's just oh, those buzzing things just coming everywhere at the moment. Um, anyway, let's press on. So um, I can control now uh, how long I want that to take. So I'm going to make that just right, let's say five seconds. I think that's going to be enough. Um, and that's going to write out what I want. We can play that just to make sure. So it's saying, working the cloud. Yeah, that's going to write out like that. And then it will move in there and it will tell me what it is that I like doing with it. And then it goes back to the wide. Um, so the only other thing is I haven't put in here, which I should do, is I haven't put in uh, the Video Scribe logo. So I'm going to do that, I think, over here. And again, we go up to here, put in the Video Scribe logo. I've already got one of those that I've uh, made. And again, I can choose how 
detailed I want it to be, and I think that's probably enough. And, oh, that's way too big. Um, so what I'm going to do is just shrink that down a little bit. And actually, you know what I might do? I might spin it around and have it like that. Um, so, video scribe. Um, oh, yeah. I think that will be good. So I am going to have that. See, again, it's 30 seconds. Don't need it to be 30 seconds. We're going to have that running to about... Uh, let's say six seconds now okay so the thing now is my voice script I'm gonna say something like I like uh, using video scribe uh, in order to make things for my website I can make blah 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 but you can see here the video scribes actually in the wrong place entirely but it's very easy all I need to do is move it using that arrow so I've moved it now to the beginning of the timeline. So now the timeline runs at video scribe for six seconds, my logo for eight seconds, and then the elements that I like doing with it for five seconds. So that's in there now, and now we have a couple of elements that we can add uh, in terms of uh, audio. So first of all, a music track. There's loads of music tracks here for you to play with that are uh, in the system and presumably royalty free. Um, and um, uh, you can also add your own or pull something from the internet so um, it's really up to you and you can search this in a number of different ways you can search by name by length or by um, mood and I have already decided on a piece of music I would it was called the bird and it's um, so where was that it was somewhere down here in the crimson well, okay, so I should actually search for it by name. And that'll be element of PQRST, the bird and it, there it is. So, uh, they're all pretty cheesy, the music. So I, I've, I've, I've uh, clicked on that piece of music and that's now added into my timeline. And now I can also add a voice. Um, so I'm gonna click record and it asks me to uh, name my uh, uh, video scribe and save it. So I'm going to do this. Uh, this is our uh, demo guide. Click on OK, and it's you can ch change the different uh, inputs that you want. I'm using my Yeti microphone, and then when I'm ready, I can click record. So I'm going to click record and then record. Uh, can you hear my coffee machine in the background? I'm going to wait for my coffee machine to finish cleaning itself. <laughs> and then I'm going to click record and I'm going to do my very quick voice that I have. Here's one I prepared earlier. So. I like using Video Scribe. It's a fun and easy animation tool from Sparkle that I can make videos for my website, workingthecloud.biz. With it, I can make promo videos instructional videos, invitations, and even write a fun letter. So that's my recording done. And that's now in the system as well. Um, so let's have a quick look and see how all that held together because we may need to do some tweakage now that I've got my voice in there. I like using Video Scribe. It's a fun and easy animation tool from Sparkle that I can make videos for my website videos, invitations, and even write a fun letter. Okay, so actually that's fit, fitted quite well. Um, but I think let's just um, maybe make that happen a little bit quicker so that we get on to uh, working the cloud. And also I think I can probably reduce that by a second or two as well. And let's see if that maybe fits all together. Now, this is the only problem with this kind of piece of software, right? It's, it's a little bit clunky playing around with the sound. What it would be nice in a more professional piece of software, um, you could actually, you know, see the timeline and separate it out and cut things and place them where you want them. So uh, let's have a quick look at this. I like using Video Scribe. It's a fun and easy animation tool from Sparkle that I can make videos for my website, workingthecloud.biz. With it, I can make promo videos, instructions, 
instructional videos, invitations, so it looks like I ran out of um, images there. Um, so I just need to do a few more little tweaks. Um, I think I could probably actually let that go for one second longer, let that go for one second longer, and then maybe put uh, another half second pause after that. And let's have a quick look now, see if that's... I like using Video Scribe. It's a fun and easy animation tool from Sparkle that I can make videos for my website working with cloud.biz. With it, I can make promo videos, instructional videos, invitations, and even write a fun letter. So, I think I'm relatively happy with that. Now, obviously, you know, we've made this in 10 minutes or so, so um, you can have a play with it and make something a lot more imaginative and um, detailed. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying that you can't slice up the audio and um, uh, mess about with it. The one thing that I would say, if you want to do it really seriously, and one of the ways that I work if I'm working with uh, Powtoon, making a video with Powtoon, is this is a great piece of software, Audacity. It's open source. Uh, which means it's free um, and um, you can basically record uh, your voice track blah 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 I'm for recording voice track press stop and then I can actually import other tracks so I can uh, say okay I want to import some audio and I want to um, I don't know if I've got anything easily available um, so this is on the fly I didn't didn't plan on doing this so let's go to the music library sample music so I can then put a vid an audio track on there as well um, and I can put some sound effects and now what I can do is I can actually start manipulating that and um, working with it um, to create a single audio track and if you remember while you're making that the timings on these right you've got five seconds um, and, and half second pauses. So if you use the timeline in Audacity to create a piece of, uh, you know, lay voice track and sound effects down on a musical timeline using the seconds at the top here, um, then you can actually make something which fits your timeline. It's a little bit fiddly um, and it's not, you know, it's not professional, but you're not paying professional standard um, prices here either so you know there's the rub if you want something that's cheap and cheerful to use and looks very good um, if you want to start getting technical with it then you may have to um, have a little bit of a fiddle and a faff yourself um, but for me for now for, for what we want to achieve here this is perfectly okay and now I can save that and export it create my video I can choose a quick time a ping sequence a JPEG sequence a F FLV um, quick time movie so I can choose what kind of output I want and then you create your video and once your video is created then you can upload it to YouTube um, or put, you know embed it into your website or put it on Vimeo or any of the other um, sharing services so it's a really super simple um, and brilliantly fun piece of software to use um, and um, I'm going to put links on uh, this page of where you can um, uh, download it and buy it. Uh, they do run an affiliate scheme so I'm going to, full disclosure, I'm going to use the affiliates link um, on my website so if you want to click that um, and go ahead and, and try it out then um, if you do end up ordering it then I get a, a, a micro payment for referring you. So obviously you're under no obligation to do it that way and you can just go to their website if you want, sparkhole.com and um, and do it directly if you don't think I deserve any any payment for my efforts. Um, so excellent. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, if you have any comments or thoughts, or indeed if you've posted, uh, if you make your own um, film and want to share it with me, then post it in the comments. Um, in this thread because um, it would be great to start having some comments and having people um, uh, feeding back what they've been doing and hey it's a good chance for you to promote your own business in a, in a non-promotional way as well so um, yes thank you very much for listening to me as I said my name is Kate Russell working the cloud.biz don't forget you can sign up for the newsletter and um, if you do that uh, it's completely free I promise never to sell your details to anyone who will spam you with advertising and if you do sign up for the newsletter then you will have a monthly digest of everything all the wonderful 
nuggets of information that I find throughout the month and post on this website so hopefully you will do that and I hope you've enjoyed this little video guide how to use Videoscribe.